Meet Renik and his girlfriend Jodie, both 18. I describe Renik as funny, really caring. She has a natural beauty to her, innit? And her eye colour and everything, so I was just like, damn. They met two years ago when Jodie was an extra in rapper Renik's music video. Like when I saw her, I was just like, right, this girl looks nice. Jeez. From there, I just persuaded and charmed her. Obviously, he was busy doing other things, so, but every time he was in the room, he was a bit flirty. We always said it was meant to happen because if we never done the video shoot, we would have never met. Ah, oh, bless. Now they live together in Gillingham, Kent, with Renique's mum, Dana, and sister, Latasha. But being a young couple in the family home has one big disadvantage. The privacy is about 0%. My bedroom's right in the middle. So then my sister's room's literally there. So for her to go to the toilet, to go downstairs to make a drink, she has to come through my room. So obviously you can't do certain activities. Definitely too close for comfort. Not surprisingly, these two want their own love shack. I want to move out so we can just be independent and have children and get married, hopefully. Just build a life, really. We definitely want to try to be independent as a couple and to see how we'll cope. We're ready to take that jump and take the next step. But the path to independence might not be so easy. Problem one, they're both desperate for jobs, which they'll need to make it in the real world. If a job called me tomorrow for a bin man, I'd say, yeah, I don't care. I haven't got, I'm not one of them people that have an ego to say, I am doing that. As long as I'm getting money to help my mum out. It's just a letdown though, isn't it, when you... Yeah, it is a letdown when you try so hard and still don't get anything. Jodie's looking for a job in childcare. I enjoy being around kids a lot. To be able to teach them, to see them like gradually get better at things, and knowing that I'd help them do that would be great as well. And Renique dreams his music will help him pay the bills. From there, we'll drop into the chorus, which is... I just want to be able to make a nice living off it, and for people to listen to it and just get a message, and for it to influence people. For now, Renique's mum foots the household bills, which means thrifty spending is essential. I'm doing my budget. £80, two weeks for four people, and in there we have to get our meat, pasta, 500 rolls of toilet roll, because <laughs> really it gets through a lot. Ooh, bit too much information. Despite Mum providing all home comforts, the couple still want to try living alone for a week. I feel, like, excited, but I'm scared at some time, so... It's no wonder that Jodie's nervous, because problem two in the move-out mission, Renique and his mum are inseparable. <laughs> Renick is definitely a mummy's boy. They're so close and it's good, it is good. But she does basically everything for him. When I've finished work, I come home, do the cooking, any cleaning. This is stuff that Renick never does, is mop the floor. I'm definitely a mummy's boy. I'm not scared to say that. I feel like we just have a bond, like a really strong bond. Two years ago, Renick became the man of the house when his parents separated. When my dad left, that bond grew. It's my mum and my best friend. Like, the love for her is a lot. I'm quite protective of all the females in my family. My mum, Jodie, with my dad leaving, I think that made me more of a man. Dana's dreading the thought of her boy flying the nest. Personally, I wouldn't want them to move out yet. That's solely because I'm being selfish. That's all I ever wanted, to have kids and that, and I'd just like them to be, be around me as long as possible. I'm too nervous and worried. I'm going for a week. A week's a big deal to her mother. <laughs> This is my boy leaving home for a week. But Renique's realised that to do right by his mum means standing on his own two feet. I want to move out and just be an independent man, really. Invite my mum round for dinner, be able to do stuff for her a bit more. With no money and no domestic skills, how will they cope? I don't think Renique and Jodie fully understand how much I do and um, how stressful it can be. We're giving both couples the money they need to try renting a place of their own for a week, but it's the same budget they would have if they were going it alone for real. Less ambitious are Renique and Jodie, who are working out where their job seekers allowance actually goes. Travel, that's about tenner. Phone contracts, yours 21, mine's 33. But their biggest expense is Renique's music. Studio, probably £30. Not to mention threads to fit his image. But now I know what makes me broke. I'm not impressed. A boy needs his things. 
Yeah, but he's saying that now, but what about if it got to the point where we couldn't even eat? I'm not starving because of you. But she's got her own weaknesses. When I first got with Jody, I was just like, you need to upgrade your foot swag. <laughs> and um, we started going trainer shopping and then I think she just got addicted. This is all my trainers, most of them anyway. These are my favourite white trainers. Not worn these once, as you can see. And Renique's just as bad. My trainers cost like hundred pound upwards, but I want to get more, much more. I think these are the most expensive. I think they were like 70. It's literally building up, building up, building up. So hopefully by next year, we'll have 50 pairs if the money's there, definitely. Some people collect art. We just collect trainers, maybe. <laughs> They're gonna have to tighten their belts and shoelaces. If we cut clothes off, we'd be in a better position. There you go, no trainers. So that gives you an extra 30 pound. With so housing benefit, eight, Renique and Jody have a weekly budget of 220 quid, not much once rent's taken out. Up in their standards, Renique and Jody find a one bed with all the mod cons. Hello? All oh, right, mate, go. Cool. You just press that, yeah? All right. Even a telly. That's the first thing you want to check, the TV, you know. And best of all, it's not compact. Put our trainers in there, obviously, because it's quite high. It's definitely nice. But room for all your kicks comes at a price, 150 quid a week. Even so, they decide to take it. You happy? Yeah. I'm happy as well. And it's a difficult time for Renique's mum too, as her only son flies the nest. Moving tomorrow, so I need to get everything packed and planned, but my mum's staying at her boyfriend's tonight, so I ain't gonna see her when we leave tomorrow. So it's gonna be emotional. Saying goodbye is not going to be easy for Dana. Renique and Jody moving out. I know they have to at some point, but it makes me a bit sad thinking about it because um, we're so close. Where are you going? Yeah. Oh, don't cross. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, son. Right, love, you. love you. Good luck. You too. Miss you. Thank you. I feel sad. But I know he's growing up, he has to eventually move out, but. If I had my own way, I'd keep him with me. I'll call you. Bye. Oh. Bye. I do that horrible face. So I don't so like so. it. Oh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Right, have Bye. Love you. Have fun. I guess this is where it starts now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my mom definitely. But um, I'm 19 this year, so it's time. It's time, isn't it? Probably when I have kids and they move out, it's going to feel the same, isn't it? I'm going to take it to bring a TV in. My goodness. The next morning, Renique's packing his essentials. Just take every hat because I don't know what one I want to wear. Why is there so much stuff? And Jodie's making sure she's kitted out too. I'm taking four pairs of trainers. Five because one's on my foot too. With mum out of sight, Renique's less worried about missing her and more worried about feeding his belly. Noodles. That pasta. You can't take her food. I can, she loves me. All that remains is to squeeze their worldly possessions into a friend's car. You know there's loads more. I'm just going to bang some weights on you, is that all right? No. Just by your feet. Just by your feet. I'm not comfortable. It's time for mummy's boy number two, Renique, to get his first taste of freedom with girlfriend Jodie. Let's open the door. This is it. Go, go, go. Where is the TV? <gasps> I'd rather have the TV than the sofa. Hey! The TV Yay. is here. I'm actually happy now. With that emergency over, Renique's turning his attention to his chronic fear of... Insects, dust, fleas, every, anything that can crawl on my skin. Just watch the OCD kick in. But without mum to clean, it's up to them to get down and dirty in the bedroom. Babe, you're swearing it in my face. That's nasty. Oh. oh, there's hair. I don't do other people's hair fragments. No, what's that? It's making me itchy. It's, babe, you're flicking it everywhere. Do you want to do it? I wouldn't be flicking it do on you. Do you want to do it, yes or no? No. Well, shut up then. Their new home isn't sweeping Renique and Jodie off their feet. And making 70 quid last a week is not going to be fun. We need to take out £50.30 for the bills, so we're left with £22 for the week. I think we can do that. Not with travel. Yeah, take away travel. 
How are we going to do a shop for a week on £11.84? Here, the negativity kicks in again. It's just the truth. There's many ways it's possible, because I'm determined not to go into the bill money. Plan B. Sell the TV. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not us. <laughs> Not quite that desperate yet, the couple head off to the shops and spend just over a tenner on some basic food and all the crisps in the world. This is her choice, 24. I said, let's just get 99p, you get 10 packs. She's like, no, there's a point, I want the 24 packs. They're not going to get their five a day. But now Renique can show what a domestic god he is in the kitchen. That looks disgusting, but I ain't cooking on that. That is, if he can work the cooker. Okay. Get me. What would you do about me, baby? Mm, not that Aye. impressive. Wow, when was the last time they put this on? A call for the fan, which doesn't work. Oh, my Lord. Take this it out, it's burnt. This grill is mash up. I'm not even looking forward to this that much anymore now. I hate this grill. Okay. And I hate this oven. And I hate this stove. Mum's looking legit. So the big man of the house hasn't quite nice. mastered life without Could mum. Luckily, no, Jodie's no. easily pleased. It's all right. Mm. I think it's hard, though. At my mum's house, we just eat like it's nothing because she always just supplies dinner. And I feel kind of sorry for her. Missing mum? Mm -hmm. Or maybe just a fully stocked mm. fridge? I don't think it's going to last a week because Jodie's already on her third pack of crisp in the space of about 30 minutes. Yeah, but there's 24. Now there's 20. Facing a week living on crisps, these two really need to land some jobs. Things have been hotting up for Renique and Jodie. Spending the night together alone without Natasha coming through the room, it was actually, it was good. Yeah, because I felt like I could just sleep. sleep. Yeah. Yeah, wild. Well, they're sort of making the most of life away from home, but how's mum Dana doing without them? I found it very, very hard, him not being here. I haven't enjoyed the quiet. I haven't enjoyed the space. So, no, it's been quite traumatic. I've been really moody. <laughs> really moody. I'd make the most of it, Dana, because they might be back sooner than you think. It is one pound, one pound 38 left. So that lasted less than 24 hours. We just thought it'd be easy and we'd be able to cope, but it is hard. Already yeah. I feel like I actually understand what my mum has to do yeah. and everything and actually understand how hard it is. I think this morning was more of a wake-up call. Literally opened my wallet, there was less than two pound in there. And this has just made me want to get off job seekers even more. But right now, that's easier said than done. I've been out of college since, for about two months. Since then, I've literally probably applied for over 100 or something jobs. It feels like I'm constantly job applying, not getting nothing back. With no jobs and no money, fleeing the nest could be just a pipe dream. They're so skint, they're going to flog some precious threads. Desperate time calls for desperate measures. But they both know what they really need is a job. So Renique steps things up a gear. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds fantastic. All right, then, cheers for that. Wow. I got work experience at KM FM radio, so that's a big thing for me to even put down on my CV. Determined to find some money, Renique puts his music skills to good use. It's KM FM breakfast with Rob and Emma, just gone eight o'clock. Coming up, your chance to be in. See you. Thanks for coming up, How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. This is uh, what we control, we're on, on air. Although I've got a producer, everything you see here, I would be in control of. I never knew it was this hands on, because literally the radio stations I go to ain't this big, so it's literally just a computer. Back at the flat, it's an A for effort in Jodie's job hunt. Hi, Sarah, it's Jodie. Hello, um, I'm just calling about the work experience for Friday. I have got work experience in a summer club for children. Yeah, I'm excited, because you never know what the outcome could be. If she impresses, it could lead to a paid apprenticeship. This will look quite similar to what you do. Yeah. Up here, you'll see everything from the drum kicks. I think you're really multi-talented, and you're well, kind of inspiring me to push more outside of just singing. I think if I proper knuckle down now and find who I want to be, find what I want to do, I can do it, because anything's possible. Anything might be possible, but Renique needs a paid job soon if he wants to keep his crib. I was just searching the job sites and I found a music um, and radio apprenticeship. I could be learning music production, getting paid for that. 
and still look for a part-time job. If everything went positive, by the end of this week, maybe I'll have an apprenticeship. But that won't help the cash flow crisis now. Tonight, they're hosting a housewarming on just one pound, but there's always the bill money. Into the pot, this was bad. I feel guilty. And that's all going on booze. 52 pounds spent in two days, less than two days. That's impressive. Good budgeting. Despite the party vibe, for Renique, home is where the heart is. I'm disappointed my mum's not coming. I think it would have been much better with her here. So they've just been able to see her. Of course I'm missing my mum. If I weren't, that would be a bit weird, innit? But for now, it's party time. Housewarming time? Housewarming time. Let's roll. <laughs> it's all right tonight, but now they're totally skin. Everything rests on their apprenticeship interviews tomorrow. It's a budget diet of crisps instead of cake for Renique and Jody. Unless they can find jobs, they'll have no choice but to return home. I still have that determination that I want to still move here. Yeah, that's not changed. I think we're both on the same page now. Like, I think we both know we need jobs to be able to get a house. Do you want to go change your shoes? Broke but happy, that's how we're living. I am broke, no man is. I don't think there's even a pound. There's no cup. <laughs> Where is it? Get me cleaned out. We cleaned it and everything. <laughs> so the pressure's on, and today they're on a mission to get work. I just hope she does well. I'm kind of feeling a bit nervous, but I think once I'm there, I'll think, like, why was I nervous? Because it will go all right, hopefully. I've got faith in her, definitely. I have to have faith in her. Get me, no one else does. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. She just needs to believe in herself more. Love you. Mm. Oh, if only they could live on love alone. But today, Jodie has to impress at the childcare centre because there's the chance of a paid job at the end of it. What makes you want to work with children? Um, I've done work experience when I was only 10. And then once I've done it, I really enjoyed it. You did? Yeah. Yeah, that's the best experience you can get is working in the nursery. With the apprenticeship, um, for your age, it's £2.65 an hour. Um, I know it doesn't sound a lot of money, but eventually at the end of your apprenticeship, you'll be on the same money as everybody else. So it is the best way to, to gain the qualifications and the experience, I believe. Yeah. If they want any hope of living together, they have to find work. So, Renique's hard at it with an interview at a radio station. Hi. Renique, yeah, hi. you're right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet It's an apprenticeship scheme that runs over 12 months. Yeah. Within the 12 months, we go into marketing, we yeah. do production, we do um, radio presentation. If you work hard enough at this, I think there's a very good opportunity, not only just working with the radio aspect, if you're musically inclined. I don't, you're, yeah, I sing as well, sing do rap. You? Yeah, sing rap. Rap. Yeah. And this is an opportunity where you can get your peers to actually record you yeah, yeah. and plug you on the radio. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we've got a recording studio as well. So we do all our own jingles. Yeah. Plus, we record all the, all the artists that perform over yeah. here for free. Oh, yeah. yeah. So not yeah. only would Renny be making so. money if he landed this gig, he'd be saving money too. I'm loving the look of this place. We've got someone special to come and play with us today. Her hello. name's Jodie. You want to say hello to Jodie? Hey, Jodie! Do you want this much? Yeah, that's fine. Aww. It's really nice here. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Yeah, I could see myself in a place like this. What's your situation? Are you at home, mum and dad? Oh, basically, you... my dad um, left about two years ago. So literally, it's just my mum and me and my sister and my girlfriend. But that's my home situation, it's not good. This view of this thing is like almost a part-time, that you can do other things, you can still study anything. Yeah, that's if what you I'm find saying, another job tomorrow, still get a part-time job. We will reaccommodate you, you won't lose out, yeah. we'll, we'll make a, a schedule that will suit you. That's really supportive Hester. and positive. Honestly, if I get this, then I'll just show you all my hard work, what I can do, my dedication, my determination. That makes me the happiest guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely. It's that's all I can man. offer you, is my best. Perfect. While things seem to be going well for Renique, at the end of Jodie's day, did she impress? We really would like you to come volunteer with us as soon as, as, soon as you want to, and then be able to offer you an apprenticeship in, in January. Yeah, I like the sound of that. It sounds really good. I don't think that it, the result will be that good. Things are finally looking up. Jodie will be bringing home a paycheck in her dream job soon, but Renique's been left on tenterhooks. If I get this, I'll be doing something I love. 
with them paying me £78 a week. That's only, I think, maybe one day or two days. So literally, I can still look for a part-time job as well. So that's, that's, that's going to be really good. I think my mum's going to be really happy. On Renique and Jodie's final day in the flat, they've both seen some changes. No, I remember, I think it was like the day before we came here, we had an argument and I was like, I don't think I could live with you. Yeah, I know. And he was like, don't worry, same. And now we've actually done it and like, we've seen that we could actually live together. And... Yeah. I think it's made us stronger already. I guess it is true about your experiences make you, innit? But Renique might be about to eat his words. He needs some clean clothes. It's time to lather up. My first investment if I moved into a house would definitely be a washing machine. You ain't done no hand washing since we've been here. You're taking a mick. Jode. What? Can you come hang this, please? She oh! goes in one of her straps. Babe. What? Do you want to be kind? No. Do you want to do these last two things for me, no. please? No. Why? Because what? I don't want to. My hands are killing me. Look, look how they're shaking. Look. It's so fake. <laughs> it's not fake. Look. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. Come in, help me. No, help me pull it inside out. Get that other arm out. Are you sh Please don't start. <sighs> That's saying so you do it again. Come on, hand wash. Get in there. As well as doing no laundry, by eating crisps all week, Jodie's avoided doing any cooking. Until now. It's the last night of cooking, and it's, I'm just letting you cook. If it don't come out right, it don't come out right. At least you tried. Come on, babe. It's not nothing even big and special. A few sauce for my salad, so. Is it on? I'm not feeling really confident. It says middle what's shelf. What's... Oh, God, that smells so cheesy. I love it. Girl oh, hates that cheese. stinks. <laughs> Fending for themselves is making them crave some home cooking. Dinner-wise, I've kind of missed, like, lasagna and certain meals. Just, just know how it feels to be really on an actual budget. Rah, that look burnt. That pie, innit? Who opens the oven, sees the food's burnt, shuts it? Oh, that's burnt. Oh, I know, it looked quite burnt, didn't it? <laughs> Not going to do nothing about it, you know? Do you want to turn the heat down? I did! Uh, glass houses, Renique. Does a burnt baguette ring a bell? There you go. Salad done. Beans and pie. Well, it wasn't exactly cooking, but that's another first for this domestically challenged couple. Tastes like pie, well done. That is an achievement to get a pie to taste like a pie. If I'm honest, I don't like cooking. <laughs> <laughs> With decision time tomorrow, has a day of unfun chores pushed them back into the arms of Renique's mum? The good points have been um, definitely the work experience. Yeah. A thousand percent. The experience overall has yeah. changed us. I just hope it keeps up. Like, we just need to keep positive minded. We can do stuff that we want to do. It's just ourselves holding us back. Renique's due to hear about his apprenticeship today and Jodie's already bagged us. This whole experience has made me feel more positive about our future. I feel like all the knockbacks I've got from like interviews and whatever, it sort of happened for a reason, because now I've got what I want in somewhere that I think will actually be good for me. Meanwhile, Dana and Natasha get a glimpse of what the couple have been up to. It is one pound, one pound for eight left. But I know I go through it every day, but seeing your kids struggling, that's really... But as they have to experience it, don't they? Yeah. I'm not going to cry, are you? <laughs> I feel a bit sad. To learn new things to help others. He looked like in his element now. He looked really happy because that's what Renique enjoys, music. So I hope that that would work out for Renique. That would be brilliant. Time to find out if a boy is coming back home. <laughs> You're right. So how did you find the money side of it all? Hard. Hard. We went into, we spent all the bills money. Oh no. It's made us realise though, like how hard it is. You know what I go through now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But crucially, Renique has finally had the call about his apprenticeship. Yeah, I need to... So what came out of the work experience? I didn't actually get the apprenticeship. You didn't? No, I'm joking, I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. 
What about you, Jodie? Um, they want me to do work experience up until January. And then yeah, give you oh, an apprenticeship. that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. So proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> So that's one giant leap towards independence. But do their promise of wages mean they're going to move out? So have you decided uh, what you guys want to do? I don't think we're actually ready to move out yet, like financial-wise. Mm. I hope you can, you'll be able to save. Exactly. And... and then maybe end of next year. We want to do it in the future, definitely. We know we can do it. Because I didn't actually know how it would be. I thought it would be a lot worse. I thought we'd just argue and not get I'd done so much cleaning. Like, there was times when this girl turned into me, I'm telling you. She was actually doing nothing and it was just annoying me. So now you understand why I moan sometimes. Yeah, I know. When I come in and everything's all over the place. I should have more money to help you as well, so that should be good. When I give you some money, just take it out for yourself and do something. Well, you know, life for me isn't about my yeah, but that's myself. What life isn't about yourself. Well, it's well, it's always been, been about my kids, so I'm happy. We're getting older now, so we want it to be about oh, you more. You're still my babies. Yeah, I know. I think this is the start. Start of a new chapter. Of an, yeah, definitely. I need to start becoming that person that I want to become. I'm glad we've done this experience, though. I'm happy about moving back in because I missed my mum. I'm excited for the day we move out because I know we can do it now. Very happy they're coming back home. But I'm, I'm glad they got to experience what I go through on a daily basis. I've seen how I used to be and I don't actually like how I used to be. So I think it's changed me in a big way. And I think it's just shown me a different side of Jodie as well. Yeah. It's made me think about our future more. and what? It is exciting, looking forward to moving out and when we do get the money together. Yeah, I look forward to that day. Welcome home, guys. Glad to have you back. Glad to be back. <laughs> it's all been really positive for them. I'm glad they've done it. I'm not thinking about the day they move out. That's way in the back of my mind. <laughs> but I know when they do eventually move out that, uh, that they'll cope. Mwah. But when you do wear white clothes, you don't even wear the white one you've got. Because it's not white.